What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here with an update video on this Monday evening. It is uh, December 13th, 2021, about 6.13 p.m. California time. The latest quake out there on the Earthquake 3D globe is a 4.0 up here along the Aleutian Trench area. Looking like a, quite the uptick in movement over the last couple hours or so. Ramping up um, in that area of the Pacific Plate. Let's go ahead and check out the latest movement here on the map of the USGS. Uh, looks like the 2.5 and above map. Let's go ahead and zoom over here. You can see a couple earthquakes popping off here within the last hour specifically. There along the Aleutian Trench. This comes after a little quiet period of, of west coast activity and movement along the Gulf of Alaska region stretching over to the Aleutian uh, Islands area. Aleutian Trench looking like a uh, Finally getting some pressure difference up here in this area of the Pacific Plate. I know over the last couple days we've seen a pretty large migration of movement here along the uh, Japan Trench and northward into uh, the Kuril-Kamchatka Trench right up here to about this, just short of this bend area. But now that has since died down in activity and uh, movement over here to the west and southwest uh, is calming down as well. Of course last 24 hours does show some further movement and some deeper movement as well with a 5.5 around the philippines area with a 156 kilometer depth for that earthquake and a 4.9 uh pretty deep earthquake there as well at 61 kilometers around the indonesia area looking at the uh, region over here west of fiji vanuatu area at a 5.2 haven't seen too much movement in here uh, recently 25 kilometers uh, below the surface for that earthquake also a uh, uh, of course typical deep movement there all three of these four pointers are well below 500 kilometers deep this area right here sees some uh, major deep earthquakes that's a that's a fact so looking up here into the uh, Lucian islands or Lucian trench here you can see some movement including that uh, earthquake activity there that i just talked about uh, 4.0 and a 4.2 this 4.2, 35 kilometers into the uh, the Aleutian Trench area. It looks like it's right around the, uh, uh, let's see here exactly where we're at. I don't believe that's at uh, Davidoff Volcano. I believe that was further over to the west a little bit there within this region. We haven't seen any further activity following that swarm of earthquakes at that volcano uh, within the last 24 hours. So that could be a good sign. That's over here. 4.2 striking well to the east into the subduction zone uh, and then of course a little bit shallower earthquake activity along uh, this area of the Aleutian Trench. This major, this area, this subduction zone is a, uh, a major, major uh, accumulator of stress uh, on any given uh, section of the plate right here. See a lot of large earthquakes um, throughout time in this region. More recently, of course, we had that 8.1, right? Was it or was it an 8.3? I can't exactly remember, but we did have uh, an eight-pointer up here earlier this year in this specific region. Uh, up here around the Fairbanks area, Anchorage area, some uh, movement further picking up here around Denali and further areas northward into, uh, looks like, uh, let's see, outside of Fairbanks, a couple of small microquakes kicking up in that area of the state, beautiful state of Alaska. Uh, got some movement over here. Looks like a couple microquakes and whatnot in this region. See, I want to check Canada out here while I'm at it. Uh, let's go ahead and bring up, uh, we'll check the trimmer map here in just a little bit. The Canadian map. Let's see if I can get this Earthquakes Canada map to pop up. They've been having some weird uh, stuff going on here with their map system recently. Let's see. Well, it doesn't really help. I need to see. <laughs> Unfortunately, I need to see the land, but we can kind of get. Uh, no, that's not all ocean out there. This is the Juan de Fuca plate uh, with the uh, North American plate interaction, the Cascadia. Uh, and some further movement up here, it looks like. I, I'm not for sure what's going on with their, uh, with their data here. Kind of a little odd. Anyway, uh, some older earthquake activity throughout the Cascadia. This movement right here uh, looks like it's been within the last... Well, last day. And this almost this kind of looks like the area of where 
the uh, is that the Blanco fracture zone? I believe it is. I'm looking. It's just hard to tell off this map. I want to check over here at the uh, USGS map real quick. Not for sure why these are showing up. Magnitude zeros uh, within the last day. Another magnitude zero. I'm not for sure what's going on with that. Uh, let's see what these other ones are. Just some weird activity. And magnitude zeros, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to get back to that and find out what's going on with that whole bunch of zeros out there run around the uh, Blanco Fracture Zone. Let's check out the trimmer map along the Cascadia. Zip zero once again. Getting back into that quiet spell. Only after uh, just a couple days of uh, uptick in earthquake or uh, tremor activity along the southern Oregon and northern California coastline area. But uh, overall, things are calming down once again uh, in the area of the Cascadia. Let's check out the Blanco Fracture Zone. I don't see any activity being reported by the USGS. Of course, these folks have failed to uh, report all the earthquakes even, even almost a week later. We still don't see, it looks like only 106 earthquakes. There's way more than that, folks. Uh, USGS has not included all the earthquake activity under 3.0. Um, with all these earthquakes above 3.0 and 4.0 and 5.0, it's just magical that there's no there's no uh, twos and ones and microquakes? Yeah, I think not. So even a week later, they have not uh, included any of that activity in the uh, below the 3.0 threshold uh, today pacific northwest looks pretty quiet a little bit of movement outside of seattle actually a query blast explosion near bethel washington it looks like uh, also up here to the northeast of there twisp washington is that correct hopefully never heard of that place uh, a couple microquakes around that region there pretty shallow earthquakes and uh, further down south oregon looks clear Northern California looks clear as well. Not a whole lot of movement at all to report this activity around the geyser um, north of the Bay Area is very typical movement which with that uh, hydrothermal type plant, energy plant up there. Uh, a little bit of activity north of San Francisco on the San Andreas Fault with a 1.5. This one's pretty, uh, pretty shallow, 1.8 kilometers south of uh, San Mateo, a 2.3 near Half Moon Bay. That one's rather deep. Just off the San Andreas Fault on the San Greg Gregorio, San Gregorio, I think that's it, fault zone. Um, let's see here, Seal Cove Fault. It's a little bitty fault system, kind of runs through the, uh, just outside of the Bay Area on the Pacific side of the plate boundary. And some movement uh, inland around the Delta, looks like Vacaville getting in on some activity. And further down on the creeping section of the uh, San Andreas Fault, a couple shallow microquakes as well, but uh, regionally, movement along the eastern crest of Sierra Nevadas. Look at this. I mean, you can count these pretty, pretty easily tonight. This is even less activity than we've seen the past couple nights. So uh, things dying down along the eastern crest of the Sierra Nevada. We are seeing some further movement though, a little bit further south. It looks like along the Garlock Fault structure. Uh, a couple earthquakes there near Mojave and a little microquakes, but still activity nonetheless. But uh, up here to the north, man, that's just dying down uh, pretty calmly, looking pretty calm up there. Some movement around the San Jacinto Fault area. Even down here, this is very abnormal for for earthquake um, activity. Just there's not a whole lot going on at all. 1.9 near San Pedro. 10 kilometers, looks like just south of Long Beach off the coast on the, uh, what is that, Palos Verdes Fault. A little activity around the Salton Sea as well, not uh, anything significant, no swarming, no Gulf of uh, California movement. In fact, things look pretty quiet along the west coast when it comes to background activity, right? Background activity indicating, uh, you know, over, over any given day, uh, as far as earthquake uh, multitudes go it's very calm there's some activity up against the mountain ranges here in utah it looks like near beaver and um, a little bit of activity up around the idaho area northward into montana things uh, pretty quiet though in the yellowstone area look at the yellowstone map no uh, earthquakes to report 
No significant uh, movement whatsoever, none. Not even a microquake to report there in Yellowstone National Park. All is clear on the data on the board, across the board here on, on all stations. Uh, let's go back here to the uh, USGS map here and check the Southern Plains area. Pecos, Texas. A little bit of activity ramping up there. This is kind of older uh, earlier this morning throughout Oklahoma. And, uh, of course, we had these couple little microquakes here that struck way earlier this morning around the New Madrid zone. But since then, no further uptick. Puerto Rico, pretty quiet as well. A little oddball quake uh, the bottom. 143 kilometers for that 4.4 well east of the Puerto Rico area Virgin Islands region uh, Puerto Rico trench of course sits up here pretty deep movement in that area of the world South America pretty quiet as well up outside of Guatemala Mexico region 5.7 that struck earlier way earlier this morning we have seen a little bit of little bit of uh, movement further south with a 4.5 off of El Salvador coast into the middle america trench at 60 kilometers that 5.7 further down there that was at 180 kilometers for the depth there much further inland and down dip south america region a little bit of activity but nothing significant folks pretty uh pretty mellow only this little 4.0 in argentina is the uh only concerning one with a 262 kilometer depth uh, South Salmon Islands here, that was earlier for this 4.9. That one into the subduction zone as well. The Middle East, Mediterranean Sea, all areas to the east are looking pretty quiet. Atlantic, quiet as well. So just kind of watching it, folks. We could be seeing with the lack of activity over here, beginning on the northwestern and western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, we could be returning back to uh, a pattern of activity through the uh, Gulf of Alaska and the West Coast region. Even though it's calm now, uh, things can definitely change here. You've got to watch these signals, the lack of activity over here. And most of the time when that occurs, uh, we get that major uptick here along the West Coast, uh, pretty much from up here through the Gulf. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to cover, folks? The wind is finally calming down here in California. Of course, the power went out this morning unfortunately and uh it is what it is got woken up at about 4 30 in the morning and uh took a couple hours for the power to come back on do you have a generator but i was just like i just i don't know i just didn't want to uh we were sleeping or trying to sleep anyway and uh it just didn't make sense to get up and run the generator just for a couple fans and some computer stuff so power came back on just a couple hours afterwards which saved me the trouble from uh, getting uh, getting the generator out. Solar weather activity is pretty, uh, a little bit of coronal hole activity, and it looks like a flare possibly on the far side of the sun kicking up. Still only a 10% chance of a sea flare. That sunspot showing up um, off on the distance of this map or this image here. Uh, so we could see uh, a little bit of a heightened solar flare activity looking at the uh this map here looks pretty looks pretty blah <laughs> it doesn't look uh, organized whatsoever but we could uh potentially see a little uptick in the solar weather as this uh comes around the earth side right now three-day geomagnetic forecast looks pretty minimal not a whole lot going on there on the sun activity just kind of taking a pause i suppose and uh, what else we got here, folks? Not a whole lot of movement uh, as we looked at uh, Hawaii. Let's see if I can get that site to pop up. Thought I was at it. Hold on a second here. There we go. For whatever reason, that took quite a while to uh, quite a while to update. Kilauea volcano still remains at Watch Orange. Uh, some movement, of course, uh, looks like a single vent eruption. A little pause in activity as well. Overall, things just kind of, uh, just kind of taking their time, I guess, right now. Sometimes we get, uh, 
Sometimes we get some stuff kicking up here along the uh, Hawaiian area with some volcanoes, but uh, just kind of typical, I guess, for the Big Island when it comes to the earthquake activity out there. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here and uh, hope everyone has a good day, good night, good evening. I'm going to check the all magnitudes here real quick on the Big Island. Man, even this area, is, look at that, only 11 earthquakes. That is very minimal. Uh, when it comes to earthquake activity here along the southeast flank or anywhere on the Big Island, that's the all magnitude maps uh, too. So uh, something, uh, I don't know, maybe the calm before the storm? I don't know. Sometimes uh, things like that do happen. So we'll uh, see how it goes, folks. Have a good night. Stay safe out there and uh, always be prepared. Peace out.